bringing the battle to the outsides of the map. Now, we might not see exactly that here. Um, Cyclops, of course, does run very unorthodox styles That's a way uh, of, of, it. Of, of, of compositions, which for them seem to work. Sometimes, for, for the newer viewers, if you do not know who Cyclops is, these guys play the most fun siege you'll see in any competitive... Good luck, have fun observer. <laughs> this is the other way. Okay. I think it's I don't know if this now. Is, uh, yeah, but I don't know if this is a threat, as in, like, we'll do some crazy stuff, uh, good luck trying to find it, or if it's, like, a genuine good luck, have fun. Or I both. Think it's, I think it's genuine. I think they've got a lot of love to give. They were... This is, like, one of those things which is a behind-the-scenes, I guess, of SI... Because when we were doing the spiel before a game, we could see the game feed and yes, we could we see could. the conversations that would happen between the two teams. And the joy that Cyclops would bring to a pregame lobby was consistent. They have and so high. much fun playing Siege, honestly. Like in the pregame, they're just having fun. There's their their setups, as we've have sh like seen during during Apex North, are just to have fun. And to continue my story, for those who haven't watched Cyclops yet. These are the team, uh, this is the team that is of such high quality in APAC North that they can, you can almost say get away with running the non-meta strategy. Um, you see, every now and then, you see Kavira to be brought out. Mm -hmm. You see a suddenly a composition which is Frost, Ella, uh, Capcan, Legion, and, and, you know, a Rooney, for example, where there is no hard breach denial, no, just trap Sony. Like, these guys will run whatever they feel like is the right thing to run in that case, and sometimes that even includes dropping the diffuser in spawn and just going for a full and execute. The tail of a fleeing Valkyrie as she pulled her way out of the site itself, but it's tomorrow that finally opens it up. The run out onto Gatorada, I believe, on the front face. Canos goes next and finds Black Ray as a bit of a shutdown here. They've lost that Habana entry, which means that anything from the pillar side is going to be much trickier, and you assume that's where that run out from the outside came through. It's going to have to be a drive of Anaton inside the site to buy them a little bit of space, but with none of the solidity that comes on the back side, it's a pick up there for Sayora now. Anaton is spraying with the pistol, but suddenly Talon has entirely rebuffed this approach. 20 seconds, and Suzu C has pretty much everything else left to do. The canister pops off on the side, has the diffuser in hand, but you see where Talon's positioned. You assume you know how this one is going to end. They have the angle, the swing out width. They have five seconds. They can't even get into the site in that time. So the first round goes to Talon. <laughs> Almost blows himself up with a gone six. And that is almost the uh, the entry kill coming in for Cyclops. Well, they know that he's around there, but Kanos, he stuck it out. And he just gets a sort of freebie there. Enough to build their approach here at the verticality that might be a bit of a cost. But, you know, they have the breaching charges in the pocket of Black Ray if they go for the big rotation. Sayora is suffering just behind the bakery, but somehow swings out, gets one before they get shot down. The Echo Drone was causing problems. The spray through the wall was two. Selma is finally starting to pop open and get them a little bit more angles. But look at this Talon. Utility left for Talon. Talon are playing this perfectly for now. It's kind of to come in, picks up a beautiful kill onto Aegator. Drop him down for now. Leave only the t well, one member in the meantime left inside of the bakery. It's only up to Anaton. Picks up the first one to get it going. So needs to find three, however. One of them is on that top floor. One of them is... Nation ...with guns as well. Trying to get the read on the first, but Talon isn't overextending their hand. They played it aggressively on the opener, but then they've set themselves up with this angle. They know where he is. They know where he's trapped. And now that they have, obviously, the Jaeger playing towards the side of the coach as well, they're having that massive width. Hanaton found a bit of a creep through. Might not know about the man on the other side of this hot hopped wall. Pre-fired just below him. That sort of strange mix right now where they are being quick, as we're seeing there with that control of the nade, and as we saw Suzu C punish before, but they're being a bit sort of... I guess so is that soldier. Last second sees the barrel of the gun, swings around and oh, no. sprays, but the MPX unfortunately doesn't have as many bullets in its pocket as... As he's, he's able to find Suzu C in the meantime, they're actually able to take something out. The Nomad's gone. We saw some air jabs go down at least, but as the pings come through pretty consistently, they're going to try and stick it tomorrow. Gets shot down on the rotation around the backside. The C4 underneath just goes a little bit wide. The movement and the fresh plant pot gets Kanos back up to the top, but they're going to stick it. And that's going to put them in a pretty tricky situation, just lying down on the diffuser to try and offer it the cover that they can. He's in a little trade there to provide a bit of extra cover as Aziz 
has managed to rotate back of the white stairs as well. Wants to go inside the freezer. Canis will be able to take down Black Ray. Brings it back to a two and two post plant situation, but still the one man on the roof having the opportunity of going for some great angles as Canis try to go for the defuse there. Will be shot from the skylight window any second now. No, actually, not even but manages to get himself into the freezer. Jumps out to rotate. He's not going to be able to get the kill to Gatorada. And he will close it out. It's Cyclops that will be fighting back at least with a round. Making sure they can't get punished with the run out that obviously did strike them before. Ayagator is the first to suffer a little bit of damage. They sneak in, but look at that. Yellow pinged and dropped instantly. A great catch underneath, whether they assumed it was this site or not. The grenade bounces around to the backside. Goodbye. Soldier taken out, and that's the second one in the pocket, ready to go to the back corner, but nobody is home. They're able to find themselves slipped out of their talon. Two roamers, both punished. And that's also one of those C4s off the board. Aziz is what? And he, uh, of course, Cigar under control as well. As he's in the meantime with the flank, has good trigger discipline, will be able to not get the double. The 180 from Suzu C is going to lock him out. Still managed to get response and revenge. The long arm on the next goes towards the default plant spot as well. They know they have to sort of play against it, but it's Iagator on the far side that gets the lockout, leaving just tomorrow creeping in the movement of their own smoke, but they don't quite see through it before they get seen through it. And a spot there. They are not a Mew Gemma will be stopping the Selma from actually exploding. And Soldier is close on the side. There you have it. Tomorrow we'll be able to pick up Anaton. And Black Ray still worried about the potential flank to come through. It's a man advantage now for Talents. Not much. It has to make do. And it makes it to two. As the kills will keep on coming down. Only five seconds left. That's it, five seconds, it's a two versus two, looking to try and stick the defuser, and they've just got to try and hope that they can pick up the guns from the other side. The spray oh, no round, way! but Nook swings onto the piece, this. and they somehow stick it, lost a firefight that should have been theirs. A quad for Gatorada now on the top of the boards, a post-plant situation. Canos, who has been effective this game, has to be twice that if they want to try and pull this back together, takes care of a Gemini which will reveal little bits of information. Sprays through towards the body on mining, but look at this, another CAG body has gone to the top floor. They're up, watching, rotating. There's the fight against the Iana, dropped. And now it's just down to Ayagata. Has the vertical, has only about three seconds that they need to waste. This is theirs to take. <laughs> he won it. He won it, he just wasted a little bit of time. So he missed the kill, he's not gonna get it either, but... It is going to be the defuser that same way that they were punished last time. Hey, look at that. Oh, no way. It doesn't matter. Canos and Aziz. Aziz, get the opener. They do indeed. And that is again a two-man opener here for Talon. That they should be able. And an Aegator, the ones that are left. On the side, the Banshee gets disabled. The jump in comes in from Aegator. Will be picked up by Canis, though. Double kill from him. He's only up to the two members left on Cyclops. And... One of them on the uh, side of Talon being inside of Kojak. There is also a bunch of Banshees that will slow them down. And a Black Eye will give away all the information necessary. Beautiful shot from Anitz and starts it off. It's still four to find. A lot of work left to do. And this time they're going, well, hang on. We can't play that game again. Soldier with the C4 cracks open Anaton, who now has to kind of divert to a different plan. Couldn't quite pop off the X Kairos. Look at this. There's a body on the short window. There's a shotgun close on the, the Talon members. And with 25 seconds left, it's a jump out as well. They need to really start moving in now, Talon. Get her out of get the opener there. And now he's instantly picked back up as they have to drive their way all the way down. Soldier takes over Lumber and Ayagata takes over underneath now as tomorrow is the lockdown on the top floor. 10 seconds. Great take. And Lumber falls back into their pockets. Canos has the diffuser, but has to find some semblance of safety and there it is a two versus one mirror is in a great clutch position here they have the pings coming through they have the swing onto the first there is the second Iagata claws that one back round side of pillars Iagata is going to pick up sticks and look for a different angle they've realized well they don't want this hatch so I'm going to make sure that they don't get the wall that they want Black Ray gets the opener Aziz gets some revenge and gets a great double there inside prep now with a minute on, they've been able to build themselves some momentum. All of the Cyclops' bodies are off site. They have entirely lifted themselves away from it. They're going to sort of say, well, if you want to charge in, we still have these angles. You've got to get rid of us, or you've got to try and mad dash your way through. In terms of the pockets, they're just going to drone, try and get the intel. But with two smokes in the pockets of the Twitch, they could become very big for this push. It could definitely be, but it's just not enough space potentially to move in. If you see, they open up the entire wall on the side as well. Soldier now will be moving in, digging himself in deep as well, trying to go potentially for a plant as Anaton goes down. 
Black Craig comes around the corner. Aigator is not going to be able to take the challenge properly, and that means we're in a post plant now. However, Cyclops basically have them all surrounded, and that is Canis to go down as well. Brings it back to a two on three. Creeping their way back around to the small bake with Soldier holding firm inside the site itself. They're just trying to see if they can isolate one of these players, but they've been very clever in getting a lot of width here. They have to creep through. They're stuck. Oh, no. What a moment to find out that that isn't something that's an easy pass. Gets the first. Even the ones that are not in the competitive one. Yeah, and we also have the old versions of maps as well. Yeah, we can also add those in. So Maybe, potentially, I don't know. Original. Possibly can, and with a lot of utility support that, that will surely be successful. It's going to be talent to try and put up some pressure here as soon as C will be able to get the entry. Well, can they now try and build around the loss of Zephyr? A loss of Soldier who's been able to drive through. Talking of, there's a man that just gets entirely driven through. Cannot quite connect with the second, but almost finds the fight on the third instead, unfortunately for them. They're locked off and they did a bit of damage to both, but it's a player who has consistently been that driving force, consistently been the one that's able to sort of bite their way through. Kanos has also consistently been great at getting the second, getting the fill in on the revenge. I don't know if he's really been too big in terms of the entry, but he's definitely been a big impact in a lot of these rounds. It definitely has been. As he, of course, on the F2 has been able to open up massively as Kenneth gets yet another kill. The top floor control has now been forfeited. The stairs are about to fall. We do have two players near. The hatch could be played as well. Grenades are being tossed in, and Gallerada gets an extra cam out to cover his back. It is going to be a oh, no, where you get it. Oh, that was a Gemini replicator. I got scared there for a second. It's Canos that gets picked up by the actual Nitro. Though. There's 10 seconds left on that clock. They need to go for the plants, and it will be done in default. Tomorrow's there to cover. It's Gatorade that needs to start moving in. It's the flank from Aegator to come in as well. There's 45 seconds and a retake on the board. Okay, a two versus two. They've pulled this together, but there's a triple, and there's the last that's sprayed towards by the Vector. Gatorada is going to go for the defuse. They're going to keep the cover on the door itself. We're going to make sure that they go for the swing there. Peppering bullets, saw the head, but they're out of time. There's a quad for Ayage. Now it's seeing if they can actually build behind it. The grenade popped and bounced, doesn't quite connect with Gatorada, who pulls back, but Anaton does connect with Soldier on the split side there. Another one popped. 4v5, second one to go down tomorrow gets confirmed. And as he's still at the bottom of the yellow white stairs, there's a grenade to be tossed in. That will confirm. Suzu C, the repel comes in from Canis, who will be able to pick up the double kill somehow himself as well. And as he's on the bottom floor, just lurking around, it's Anaton to finally strike back. As he's to run up these red stairs to hopefully find a response. It's 35 seconds on that clock. He doesn't look to the right, gets taken care of. It's an own, and it's only up to Sayora now on the window. He's been here the entire round. He needs to find three kills. Doesn't even start off with one. He gets taken out by Black Ray in the FMG. And that is going to be Cyclops securing themselves second place at least by locking out Damon Kia. As they are no longer able to reach that top spot now. That means that next up is Fnatic. And they have the opportunity to lock them out for two more of these rounds, that's it. Two more rounds, they can lock them out themselves. If it goes to overtime, it will be up to Fnatic to either lose or get equal amount of points here today. It's all on the wire. It's all on the wire. All on the wire, all on the drive. Canos, talking of, has been exceptional today. And I think that's one of the things here about this talent team is they, we talked about them at the sort of beginning as being a team that can have these big moments, these big plays, and they have this such a sharpness to them. And I think from where they were to where they're at now, they're still sort of formulating and reforming themselves. And yeah. It's just those connections, those little bits oh. where... <laughs> oh, no, they got it as well. There was like three drones all around that drone hall. <laughs> and it is, uh, it is, I believe it was Suzu C that comes around, punches in the hall, and he's like, dance, my little puppets. I will take you out and gets two drones and a Twitch drone in results. That is going to be quite painful for the defenders themselves, uh, attackers, I must say, is that is a lot of information suddenly gone and also a bit of utility gone. That Twitch drone could be useful in taking care of Small things, even if it's just a proxy alarm, it is something that they might rely on on the attack, on, on the defense, and suddenly it's no longer there. Don't know if it will handicap them any bit. Either way, 
This round could be the decisive factor. This round could be where Cyclops locked themselves in to the sixth major in Mexico. Twitch drones being tossed out will instantly be taken care of by Black Grey. So you get a right around the corner on the brown stairs as well. That has the opportunity of picking up a kill. He looks like he might be the first one to get into a contest, but tomorrow drops back down. Negator will follow just shortly. Goes down himself after Renazi. Now will be the first one to go for it. Picks up the kill to Black Grey, who only deals half worth of HP. But had no clue he was on the small bakery window. So a bit of missed information there on Cyclops' side. We give him tell an opportunity, and look at Siora. He's about to sneak in. He's about to take the kill down onto the red stairs. He's being pressured from above. He's going to be forced to run in. That's a defuser suddenly dropped in the middle of the side. And on the side of Prep, run tries to double down. And look at this. Tomorrow, in the meantime, is pushing that pressure too. There's the swing, but there's the cover from the man inside Freezer. Now they do. He returns the favor. Soon as you see, he just got picked up by the Valkyrie. The skeleton key is about to come in. That could get some kills. No, he's not going to be able to find any. The team kill, however, with the Nitro Cell is going to turn it all the way into the potential round from Talon. But it's still a 2v1 situation. And it's an in the window. Aegator could be coming up from behind at any second now. It is Cyclops to go to the six major. They take the win. They lock out Fnatic. They lock out Damwon Kia. And they qualify for the major to yet again play internationally. In a round where they not only killed themselves with a C4, but a teammate as well, Cyclops in Cyclops fashion. Definitely. Get so. themselves over the line. Congratulations to the team that are securing so much quality and so much high caliber across themselves. They fought.